Spencer a 2-1 victory over St Albans this afternoon. I don't know how it ended up 2-1. How pleased are you with that? I don't really know where to start, Dom. Uh, I mean, I have said before, I believe strongly that we're in the entertainment business. We're a part of a big community and we certainly gave entertainment there. And, you know, to concede one in what, 18 seconds, diabolical goal from our perspective. Um, and then we could have been 4-1 up, quite frankly. We've missed four fabulous chances. I've been told we missed six one-on-ones in the game. We've missed an open goal. We missed a penalty. I thought first half could have, quite frankly, been about five all at half-time. Uh, Jack's made a couple of saves. They've hit the bar. We've missed those four great chances. Uh, but second half, I thought we were dominant. And we really should have wrapped it up. I mean, we've missed a penalty again. So that's 18 penalties since the start of last season. And we've scored six, which is quite frankly embarrassing. It's not good enough. And it, it normally costs you today. We work really hard to get through it. Yeah, and then we've had, what, four or five one-on-ones in the second half. Missed a lot of them. The keeper's made a couple of great saves. And I don't think they've really had a chance in the second half. So really pleased with the dominant second half performance. Really saw it out well with everything that was going against us. Played 10 men with the last five minutes. Um, you know, and a vital three points for us. We needed we needed the win. We, we've, we've not created so many chances all season by some distance. So I suppose it's good that we're making the chances. We know people aren't match fit. The injury crisis just gets worse by the, by the game. It's, I've never seen anything like it. So we've got a lot of work to do before next week. But delighted it was an entertaining game. We, we should have won it very, very comfortably, particularly in the second half. And when you go a goal down so early, and you've got to say there's, again, really good character and there's no doubt we deserve to win the game. So, pleased for everyone involved. A lovely day for it. And, uh, yeah, would it have been nice to have put it to bed a lot, lot earlier as we deserve to do. And we played some really good football. So, you know, St Albans are a good side. They've got some really good footballers. And I said, particularly in the second half, we dominated, I felt, pretty much from start to finish. So, uh, But we made it so hard for ourselves. Quite ridiculous, really. But we got there in the end, so that's all that matters. Yep. And how pleased are you with the response to going behind? We went behind at Welling and we went behind today as well. Yeah, but it was a terrible goal. I mean, it's just two people didn't do their jobs minimum. He just walks in and scores. I mean, it's it's embarrassing. I mean, we, we, we talk, it's all lined up on there. The club support us so much in the dressing room with the facilities we have. Everyone knew their men. Two lads weren't switched on and we're a goal down. And, you know, and it's just catastrophic really but I thought I said the next 10 minutes we had four 10-15 minutes with four fabulous chances I mean so many chances to uh, to score and go ahead and we missed them all and you start to wonder if it's going to be your day but you know we got ourselves level uh, got ourselves ahead uh, and as I said at, at half time it was just ridiculous I said five all would have been a more true reflection on the first half but I said from the change we made I thought Jaden did very well when he came on and um, changes we made and we were dominant second half and, and, and rightfully got the three points. And how happy are you with the Connor Hall and Michael Felivi partnership so far? Well, it's got a long way to go, quite frankly. Um, I'm not that happy. They know it. Um, they're both fantastic lads. I've got so much time for them. They're both almost infectious, lovely people. But we can't create that amount of chances and not score five, six goals today. That's, and I appreciate it wasn't just them missing them. Crikey. I think we got Connor Cullen through, we got Gifford through, we got Reggie Young through. I mean, it was just, just ridiculous, quite frankly. Um, and balls scraped across the box, and that's before you talk about penalties and open goal miss. So, look, they're both really quality players. They've had, both had different starts to the season. Michael coming back from injury and Connor sitting on the bench for a long time. So the best bit is we know they've got so much more to give. And I keep saying that. Um, but there'll be other days you just, we can't normally afford to miss that amount of chances. But you know they're both quality players. And then you've got Connor Cullen coming back from injury. You've got Dan Gifford. He got cleaned through as well. Uh, and as I said, we should have wrapped it up many times before. But we've got good strikers here. Um, but as I said, let's not get the fact it could have been five all at half time. You know, defensively we weren't good enough as a team. St Albans are a very good footballing side. We tried to stop them. I thought generally we did that quite well. But they've got some great players and they've got injuries like we do. And we're just all falling down like flies at the moment. And then you get it on with these officials and the, it's not their fault. It's the it's the new rules. But yellow cards coming out like confetti again. And you know we had some very strange decisions here. Linos flagging for things that refs weren't giving. And 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 yeah, it was difficult. But. As I said, we're in the entertainment business. I think everyone got great value for money today, particularly if you were a farmer or a neutral fan. And as I said, I'm just delighted to get uh, another three points at home. And two penalties not scored in the last two home games. Just a word on that. 
I mean, it's, it's difficult. You know, I don't mind admitting what I said at half time. It was, it was really. I said to him, I don't really know what to say for the first time. I think this is my 26th, 27th year. And you know, do you praise them that we're two one up? As I said, it could have been five all. And um, we, you know, there were good bits, there were bad bits. It was quite frankly ridiculous. And you know, and then we missed these penalties. You know, six six scored out of 18. It, we would have been comfortably in the playoffs last year. And it's not good enough. It is a skill. It's not good enough. Numerous people taking them. Michael wanted to take it. For me, it's a poor penalty, poor height. And, you know, but what do you do? Different people have taken them, they keep missing them. Um, it's a skill, skill like anything else. It's a skill, you know, winning headers, winning battles, passing the ball. It's, it's, it's a skill to take a penalty. And at the moment, we're falling woefully short. And it's, it's not funny. It's, quite frankly, embarrassing. But what do you do? You, know, you can't just lambast them. It's, you know, you've got to have someone who's, who wants to take it. And we need to be better at it. We've practised them, but that obviously doesn't do anything for what's doing it in a game. We score that goal there, we'd probably go on, in my view, and win 4-5-1, you know, would have been comfortable. But you don't, and you, you give the opposition a lift. But I don't really want to focus on that today. We got there. It, thankfully, it didn't count against us today. You know, we got the three points that we deserve, but it's got to be better. You know, you, you must think now, I mean, it's like get a penalty, give the ball back to the goalkeeper. It's just ridiculous. And as you said, we practically ended the game with 10 men. How's Sid coping at the moment? Yeah, it's not good. It's knee again, same knee as before. So, uh, yeah, we've got Henry injured at the moment. We've got Jordan injured, Sid injured. Uh, it's, you know, we've made the decision to uh, to to um, end our arrangement with uh, Joe Partington that we wish all the very best. And I made that decision and I said he's been an absolute gentleman about it and uh, I wish him all the best because he's, he's an absolutely fantastic guy and, you know, he didn't take a penny extra from the club. So, you know, real respect to Joe and, as I said, I, I wish him all the very best. It was a tough decision for me to make. Um, and, but there we go. I have to make these decisions. We have to balance books. We have to look at the size of the squad. We have to look at the injuries. We have to look at what we can do. It's just not an endless, let's bring somebody else in. Uh, obviously now with what's happened today, we have to look at it, but we still have to play the players. So it's, it's not easy. It really isn't as straightforward as people, oh, go and get another centre-half, get a full-back. Get a... It's not as simple as that. You know, we we bent over backwards to bring Oli Pendlebury back in. You know, that was an extra. And Conan, obviously, with the Pavey situation. So there's a lot that goes on into these situations. But, uh, yeah, you know, we wish him all the best, Joe. And, um, you know, it was brief, but, he, you know, he's, he's a great lad. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult at the moment, but we have to take a deep breath, come in training and see where we are. Yep. And finally, a week to prepare for the trip to Maidstone United next Saturday. What sort of test will that be? Absolutely massive. They've, uh, they'll rightfully be right at the top national full side. 4G, they've just won at Torquay 2-0. They won at Torquay last week 1-0. Uh, they're big and strong. Our injury list is just quite frankly beyond a joke. And I don't think it's going to change by, by next week. And... We'll have to look at it very hard. It's going to be a very tough outing. Um, it's almost that cliche free hit for us. Um, but we've got some really good players. And I said, if we can create a third of the amount of chances we scored today, we can give anyone a game. But it is really going to be who's fit and, and to try and put them out on the pitch. Very, very difficult place to go at any time. But I'm just at the moment, I'm, I'm just delighted that we got the vital three points. And we're, we're, you know, we're unbeaten at home in the league. Um, I think we've almost, you know, a couple of draws and won every other game so that's a great starting point we know we need to start winning away from home but right now with the list of injuries we've got you know you need to focus on the home games and you know we've drawn our last two away games and we'll go there and we'll, we'll, we'll buzz from today we'll take something from today that positivity from today try and get a team together to go next week and see where we are against a really really strong Maidstone side that's you know in front of a few thousand people on an Astro um, it's, it's one of the hardest places of the season to go but we'll, we'll look forward to it there's no doubt after today boosted by today Brilliant thanks Spencer and good luck for next week Thanks very much Tom